Hey guys, it's John for Hodgepodge Homestead. Uh, yeah, got rid of the beard. Uh, just started getting in my way. I mean, I'll grow it back, you know, but uh, ice fishing, I'd go to reach down and it'd get up. It's in my ways, in my vision, and uh, anyway, it's gone. But hey, I'm doing a little, just a pantry chat today. Um, I went to our local Amish store and um, I bought a whole bunch of herbs, spices. Um, whatever you want to call them. Um, I've got some videos coming down the road here on, um, I started doing some charcuterie and uh, I started messing around with some, making my own brats and uh, capicolas and a whole bunch of other Italian words that I have to learn before I even try to say them on here. But uh, a lot of those um, salamis and uh, pancettas, capicolas, they uh, they take spices that I just didn't have that I'm not used to using, like uh, one of them. Um, one of them that I'm getting ready to make is called mace. Never heard of mace before. Um, and then uh, herbs to province. I've used that in a couple of recipes so far, so I bought some more of that. Um, here's this is basically what I do. Um, I know if you've seen my pantry tour, you've seen my wall of spice. Spice says. So anyway, I go to the Amish store. I buy what I want. I have it in, these are old Prego jars. You notice right back there is Prego. We love Prego sauce. It's easy. It's cheap. Um, we've made spaghetti sauce in the past. And uh, it's come out good. I don't like fighting the wateriness of it. So um, I just have to learn how to do it better. Heather and I will we'll figure that out. But anyway, um, like I said, uh, this is Herbs de Province right there. And put my funnel in there and I mean it's pretty self-explanatory. Just dump it in. But this uh, this was two ounces of Herbs de Province. It cost me $1.99. I can't imagine. I've never looked for it, like in the you know in the box stores or the your uh, markets or anything like that, grocery stores. But anyway, I uh, I pick you up, not shake you around too bad. So this is my my herb, my uh, wall of spices right there, and uh, it goes right up here. Put it back. So there, I've got. Herbs of the province powdered, herbs of province, celery powder, celery flakes, white sage powder, thyme powder, fennel seeds, rosemary powder, rosemary. And then down here is my, my sage and my thyme, my mustard, a lot of my black peppers that all, excuse me, that all go into uh, making these sausages and things. Um, so anyway, I just figured that uh, this being a, beautiful day is the 15th of January um, things are about to get kind of dicey I'm thinking you know with the whole presidential business and everything going on and I personally I'm uh, I'm personally kind of tired of it to tell you the truth um, I know it's important for our country and our nation and for everybody that lives in it but you know if the people that make our rules and all that can't get it straight I don't know I don't know what to do I guess it's just you know ooh, that smells pretty good I don't know if I'm gonna like that it's kind of it's kind of all spicy but one of my recipes calls for it so maybe I'll just try it uh, anyway enough of that um, so I'll take and uh, I'll mark this one and I do have to put another shelf on there um, so the ones I've got right now, I'm just kind of storing up here for now with my baking sodas, my baking powder, and my cornstarch. It's up here. But uh, let's see, do I need another new one? Sage leaves I have up there. Oh, oregano and garlic powder. That's from friends of mine. They asked me to pick it up. But one of the recipes that I'm getting ready to do calls for smoked paprika. And I didn't have any smoked paprika. And another one that I'm going to do here shortly calls for sweet paprika. And I don't have sweet paprika. And 
my local Amish store today. Um, all I had was just regular old straight paprika. Come on out of there now. There we go. Now this, I got at Walmart, or no, Kroger. I don't know if everybody has Kroger's or not, but we do here in Michigan. And this is like $4. Crazy. $4 for that. Um, I only need to use a tablespoon for the one recipe I'm getting ready to do. So that won't be too bad. I won't use all of it. But I guess I better start. I better keep that and not throw it away yet. Otherwise, I'm not going to know what I've got. Keep that right there. Keep the mace one right there. And um, another one that I, I had never had before was a, a five spice powder. It's a, um, uh, it's an oriental spice. Ooh, I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like the smell of that either. I'm not a big fan of cloves, allspice, um, cinnamon, a lot of the fall spices I just don't care for. I love pumpkin pie though. I don't understand why I can like pumpkin pie and not like all those other spices, but that's just my palate, I guess. Alright. So I got that one. Five spice. And those onion powder I have over there. Sage leaves I have over there. And that's it. Um, oh bay leaves. I have to do one for bay leaves. Uh, bay leaves and marjoram. Okay, now I bought these two things of bay leaves. Not that it's pricey anymore. I, I want to say I got these at uh, Kroger or Walmart or whatever. I don't know. But I want to say these were like $3 or $2 a piece. And I got this. What are these? These are um, 0.12 ounces for two dollars something this is one ounce for 95 cents so i guess it's not a huge thing but there's got to be more than that than in here what does it say net weight 0 0.12 ounces so long ways away from an ounce so anyway and then i got marjoram which one of my upcoming salamis is calling for marjoram and again, I don't know what marjoram smells like either. I tried smelling it at the Amish, Amish store. Hmm. It kind of uh, smells like a, between something like maybe oregano. But anyway, I love having all the spices and stuff. It's pretty cool just to. Come down and have what you need when you need it. And if you don't, run over to the Amish. Why do I keep saying it? Amish store. Okay, so we've got that one. I'm going to keep that lid on there until I mark them. And then, let's see. I think I'm going to use, use this time one right here. This is an old time one. I keep timing another one now. I don't know why I duplicated but it's, they're all clean. So, but I'm gonna put the bay leaves in this one. Should all be out of fit. So here we are, uh, unable to figure out how to open this jar, or this thing here. Here we are, mid-January, and uh, so many of my uh, YouTube channels I watch are already out there. Ooh, wow, those smell really good. They're already out there getting their gardens ready, and we we haven't we barely had our first hard freeze on our ground yet. You know, we still got all of January, all of February, most of March before we even think about getting outside and doing anything garden-wise. I've got a big garden project this year. You know, this being our first full year at this house. Um, I'm wanting to do a nice garden fence and um, some raised beds, so that's uh, hopefully we can we can get on that pretty early this year and 
have a little bit more of a garden than what we had last year. For those of you that don't know, we moved into this house in May, and uh, there was a lot we had to do. You know, lots of painting and different projects that we wanted to do inside, so the last minute we decided to do a garden, and by the time I went to a garden center, there was hardly anything left. I think I got a couple different kinds of squash, I got tomatoes, and uh, I bought, I think I put rose, some, I did some fresh rosemary out there, and, but yeah, it, it, pretty slim pickings by the time I got there to to get anything. I think I'm just going to leave these sealed up in here for a while. No, I'm going to put them in there. But we're planning on doing a lot more uh, like cold crop vegetables that I can store right down here because let's see right now it's uh, about 40, well, about 51 or 52 degrees down here right now and uh, that's pretty pretty good I'm not exactly sure you know it got got pretty warm down here during the summer but I'm gonna put an air conditioner they're not coming out of there very well I'm gonna put an air conditioner in here to keep it a little cooler during the summer all right put the lid back on and uh, go to the razor blade don't do this at home, folks. I'm a trained professional. I do a lot of carving, and uh, I actually carve with a a box cutter because I'm not very good at keeping knives sharp. So, with a box cutter, when it gets dull, you just grab, put a new blade in it. This other one's going to go in there too. I need to spend some time down here with the holidays and all the friends and family we had over. Um, sometimes I'd get home from the store and I just kind of put things in here. But for the most part, it's not too bad. There are some things that I. I'm going to have to start going through. We've got all our seeds right here. Um, so I'm going to have to start getting those squared away and get them ready. Granted, we still got a while, but um, I don't want to be behind the eight ball any more than I have to be with that kind of stuff. There's a bunch of bay leaves right there. Alright, and I'm going to stick this right on here and then I'll mark them later. My tape ended up going somewhere on me. So, so I don't know if you guys remember my uh, video I did on the Idaho Idahoan potatoes. Um, if not, look that up. Look that up on, on how to put an Idaho can of potatoes in a half pint jar. It fits perfect. Um, anyway, you can buy these, uh, the Idahoans. You can buy them at um, Walmart for a dollar a bag. That's really cheap. Sam's Club sells them, I think, 10 in a box for eight something, even cheaper. Now, I discovered great value, Walmart brand, same amount of potatoes, same exact same packaging, four ounces, 68 cents. Now, I'm not Mr. Bargain Shopper and I'm not Mr. Coupon Guy or anything like that, but 68 cents beats a dollar 68 cents beats you know 10 of them for eight bucks if i do my math right who knows about that i haven't tried them yet so i'm not going hog wild with them i bought four of them just just to try i got uh i got buttery did i buy all buttery i thought that but oh 
four cheese. I bought four cheese and four of the butter ones. And then I didn't have any more half pint jars in here, so I'm gonna have to go out to the garage to get some more half pint jars. But anyway, uh, try that. It's really easy, really simple, but a better way to keep them in a jar. And, you know, especially, I don't have mice. I've mentioned down here in my pantry before that I've got mice. Well, I'm not infested with mice. I think the entire time we've lived here, I've killed two mice, and during one of my videos I was filming, I thought I got a monster mouse, but it was a vole, akin to a mole, but with a V for Victor, mole, vole. Um, so no, I don't have mice, because behind the camera that way, I'm not showing you yet because it isn't ready, but it is my charcuterie meat storage, my well house, which is a little colder than what this temperature is in this room. Um, I actually sometimes have to have a, a milk house heater in there for all my pipes. It's connected to the house and all, but no heat enters it, just like this room here. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to wrap it up right there, make it short and sweet. I think I'm going to start doing some, let me know what you guys think, and um, let me know if you want me to start doing some of these little pantry chats. I think they're pretty cool. Just talk about what's going on. Um, talk about new things, maybe not do a whole video on what I'm doing, but just tell you about what I'm doing, and then you'll see the video later. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and uh, we'll go from there. But hey, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. You know what that does. It helps us all out. Um, anyway, here at the HodgePodge Homestead, we love buying all our spices at our local Amish store. You guys should too. See you later.